Hey guys, what's going on? It's Man the Authority back once again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing live stream. If you guys do enjoy these live streams slash YouTube video, please make sure that you leave that comment hashtag to the end down below in the comment section if you maybe from here all the way to the end of the video for a shout out on my Twitter. And make sure that you guys, if you do enjoy the video, that hit that like button, subscribe, turn notifications on so you guys know when I when new content comes out. It would very much appreciate it and let me know that you guys are enjoying the channel. So like I said guys, as I said earlier, um, we have a new unboxing to do today. This one featuring, if you guys are seeing it on the Twitch right now, or obviously by the title of the YouTube video that we're doing, a unboxing of the 2022 Mega 10. Uh, Mega 10, I believe this one is called the 10 of the Pharaoh's Gold or Pharaoh's God, something like that. Um, what's kind of funny about doing this one is, you know, guys, normally you guys always see me do one booster box. Uh, but for this time, I have not one, I have not two, not three, but four Megatons. Uh, <laughs> I know it's a little bit, might seem a little extreme, but considering each one of these bad boys are nothing more than about $15 a pop, uh, you know, why not? So, I am excited to open these, there's some, you know, when it comes to tins, it's mostly just a lot of reprint stuff anyway, but I love tins. Um, you know, obviously good for storage, plus there's always some good goodies, so give me just a second, let me flip over the camera, and we'll get right into the unboxing. Okay, so, obviously we got that all set up, all that good, so let me get a couple of these off the side of the frame, and obviously guys, while I'm getting these all unboxed, obviously, if you guys are obviously returning back from another one of these, or have been here before, when it comes to doing these um, unboxings, obviously there's always a challenge when it comes to comes to the, the these videos. So, if this live stream, if we can get to the end, if by the end of this live stream, if we can fill up my entire sub goal, which I get, always do a daily sub goal of ten. So, if we can get up to ten subs by the end of this live stream, I will purchase another four boxes to do on a future live stream some uh, down the road. If the YouTube version, sorry, if the YouTube version of this video gets 25, uh, gets 25 likes on the YouTube video, then we'll do an additional uh, four tens to unbox. Again, since these are relatively cheap, I don't mind purchasing another four. And then if we get uh, 25 likes on the TikTok highlight poll, which I have been doing those. I mean, I've been actually enjoy doing those. I see a lot of people actually like when I do the highlight poll reels at the on my TikTok. I think people like them, and I'm glad people do. Let's me know that hey, love the content. But if we get 25 likes on that as well, then we will do an additional four tens as well. So essentially, if somehow we get 10 subs, 25 likes on the YouTube video, and 25 likes. On the TikTok highlight reel, I'll have to basically purchase a case, which will be the first time I've ever had to purchase a case of stuff, um, which I believe a case uh, for 12 of these bad boys is going for roughly $160, $170. So yeah, that's going to be a lot of money, so uh, hope it'll be worth it. <laughs> at the end of the day. So, obviously each tin uh, comes with three of these massive uh, mega packs, uh, each one containing 18 cards per pack. Again, a bunch of them. Uh, majority of the stuff that always, like I said, comes in tins is usually just uh, reprint stuff. However, um, you know, they do often have some new release stuff every now and then. Um, basically, the cards that are going to be shown on screen, I'll make sure to keep on screen, are obviously the hollow pull, which I believe in each pack, I believe there's five hollow pulls per pack. I could be wrong. Again, I haven't, this is my first time opening this particular Megaton, so I could, could be wrong. But from what I have seen, I did see a couple people open these on TikTok, as, on TikTok and online. From what I understand... If I take the la the back six cards, so one, two, three, four, five, six cards, put them in the front, then the back, I think it's five or six cards, should be our um, our kind of like hollow pull rare. So we'll we'll see if that works. So we'll see what happens. So the first card we have is the class is a classic cyanide cascade, B trooper formation, majestic absorption. 
this has to do with, oh, uh, I think this actually isn't, might be a new card because it has to do with like Stardust Dragon, not 100%. Ice Jade Cradle, Undaunted Bumpkin Beast, uh, Star Sailor Romarine, uh, Magic Key Mecha Mortar, cool. A uh, Heavy Bead Trooper, Mighty Neptune, Bead Trooper Squad, Armed Dragon Thunder Level 3, Ida the Sun Magician, Fabled Treason. Okay, yep, yeah, so we got our first um, sem somewhat hollow pull. We have uh, Mahal Mahavalo, the Light of the Heaven. So this is the, um, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Konami always has this thing where they take older cards and make new branded versions of them. This is basically a rehash of a classic card. They have the Goki uh, Finishing Move, Flow, Flow and Drez, and Street. I think that's how it is. Double D Assault Carrier, so really cool. Ooh, I like that design. That's a really cool looking card too. Assault Carrier, Armed Thunder Dragon Thunder Level 10. I actually have a Starlight Rare version of this card back when it first came out. I think that's still worth about 100 bucks. So it's cool to get the original. And our <laughs> wow. Okay, good card to start off. Red Eyes Dragoon. Holy crap. That's actually a good pull. I like that. Um, it's probably definitely not as much as it used to be because when this card came out in last year's Mega 10 This this guy was going for like at least like 50 bucks I think it's down to like a I think from this set. It's down to like a 10 or something. I'm not a hundred percent But that's a really good pull. That's a nice uh, that's a nice start. So like I said, we'll keep all the hollows the big stuff on screen um, I might adjust it. I'll keep Depending on how much we get, I might uh, at the I might get only put the more highlighted text. We'll have to uh, we'll have to see. So that there again, good good one to start with. I think the only card in this particular set, there's only a few cards I think that are um, that are uh, more expensive than the tins themselves. I know one of them is uh, I think there's Lightning Storm. There's uh, Forbidden Droplet, the Alternative Art Dark Magician card that's in this set, and then there's also Pot of Prosperity, which I think the Pot of Prosperity is almost $50, so if we get one of those, that'd be really pretty cool. All right, so, Bee Trooper, Sting Lancer, Arkmen, I'm not even gonna try. Some of these I'm not even gonna announce. I'm trying to pull one Curry Way, uh, Mecha Key, um, Mech, Mech Musket. That's it. Mech Musket. Um, our Angel Statue. Okay. Uh, the real, and I understand you guys are probably wondering why I keep going back and forth. You know, I got my Streamlabs open, so I'm able to look at the cards a little easier from here, so it makes a little sense. Fable Abak, Armed Dragon Blitz, uh, Parametal Foes Artiles, Meow's Click, Bee Trooper Landing, Rocket Caliber, Fairy Archer Ignuger. Uh, Pendra Section, which I actually have a couple of these from when it was originally released. So that's kind of cool getting the one. Ooh, Zexal Weapon Pegasus, Twin Pegasus Saber, or Pegasus Twin Saber. Get the name right. Come on, David. Get the name right. Um, Classic ZW card. Really good for Utopia decks. Uh, Trapix, uh, Vesculo, Apex Predator, which I actually don't know what this one is. If you control a normal summoned or set monster, destroy all special summoned monsters on the field until the end of your next turn after this card is activated, you cannot normal summon or set. Hmm. Interesting. Could be really good. Not sure how. Uh, Earth Chant Flat. Actually, this is a classic ritual spell. This was back way back in the day. And Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Ooh, that's not a bad one. This is actually one of the... Uh, one of the hand traps. Not one of the better ones, not like um, Ash Blossom, but it's pretty decent. Obviously, when a monster on the field activates its effect, or when a spell or trap that is already based on the field activates its effect, you can send this card to the graveyard and destroy it. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, end the stream with a Q&A. Maybe. We'll see how we're, uh, how we're doing after. Might do a Q&A. I'm actually thinking of saving up doing a Q&A video for uh, for when I reach 1,000 uh, YouTube subscribers. Thought something fun like that would be for a good way to celebrate 1,000 uh, you know, 1,000 subs on that. 
I might have to definitely change it because we're already we're only three packs in and we're already pretty much filling up the board. So unless we start getting some duplicates here, uh, I might have to change what we see on screen to only be like the alternative uh, the alternative text and things like that. We'll have, we might have to change it up. All right. So converging wills dragon, night sword serpent, uh, matacrater gigadra. Branded in white, I believe this is, yeah, this is like the uh, Fallen of Abyss fusion card. Gunkin Ship, so Sushi Ship. Uh, Arm Dragon Thunderbolt. Guitar Duins. Uh, Magic Magnificent, a key, basically the genie for the Magic Key set. Ultra B Trooper Absolute Hercules. Jesus, that is one massive motherfucker. I've never even seen this card before. Um, Unexpected Die. You and Die. Uh, <laughs> Arrow Picks Tree, or Arrow Picks Three, sorry. Uh, Paramedals Fusion, followed by a Plesozoic Parvocraster, which is, this is the, actually the Link monster that they use for the Parazolic cards, which are all trap-based monsters, which are cool. Uh, ZS, Ar or Zexal Sage, Armed Sage, Mimicking Maneater Bug, again, one of the more renewed versions of the classic Maneater Bug card. Dark Infant Agonister, one of my personal favorite cards from the Agonister deck. And Ash Blossom! <laughs> cool! Ash Blossom enjoys spring. This is literally the card I was I was talking about. That's so dope. That's cool. I definitely will need to possibly use one of those in uh, one of the decks I'm building up later on. Basically anybody a lot of people just run three Ash Blossoms because they're it's just a legit just overpowered on a lot of deck well i mean a lot of people don't even really use them for the synergy they just use them for the fact that they can just negate anything for the majority okay so we're already getting a little bit much on the screen again if this next pack doesn't start showing duplicates i think i'm literally just going to um like i said i'll take care of everything that like the back three cards essentially anything that doesn't have uh that type of text. So one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six. Okay. So first up, we got Pazu Pazuzu, Pazuzu. Um, Gunkin Gunship again, just more sushi. Uh, Trickstar, Trickstar Festival. Wow, it's surprised these Trickstar stuff. B Trooper Assault Roller, branded in high spirits. Actually, hold on, is this one the cards I need? No, it's not. Um, Shinobi Insect, Hacha. It's, it's an insect link. <laughs> Heavy Bee Trooper, Mighty Neptune, uh, Guitar Duo again, Armed Thunder Dragon level 3, another Hercules, uh, Magic Key Dragon. Ooh, a lot of the Magic Key stuff is in this set. You know, in a sense, uh, it's common. It might be easier to make it now, uh, the Magic Key stuff. I was thinking about making that deck. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Uh, Flondras and Scary Sea, Archfiend Staff of Despair, a uh, classic card. We got Masquerade, the Blazing Dragon, Beast King Unleashed, Scrap Raptor, again, another return of a classic card, Spirit Blessing, a return of a classic uh, ritual spell, and Diviner of the Herald, a uh, really cool new card that, uh, actually, this was uh, with some of them a, uh, oh my god, what, what set? The Herald of Light stuff. So yeah, so pretty cool, pretty decent. That is pretty nice. Again, uh, the problem is, is a lot of these have hollow on them, so, you know, maybe we'll get lucky. I mean, I don't, I want to show as much as I possibly can on screen, so let's see. Up there, uh, zoom out the camera, oh, wrong direction. Try to get the whole mat in frame if I possibly can. There we go. Take those out of the shot. That way I can get more of these guys in frame. Give me just a second here, guys. I do apologize. Trying to get some synergy in here. Some better border. Uh, oh, man, uh, for Dale24, thank you for the following, man. Welcome to the Accolades. Appreciate you joining. Okay. That there. That works. Again, hopefully we'll start getting some, some repeat hollows. What is this about this lately? Every time that I open up stuff lately, there's no repeats of any hollows. Like... Seriously, the last, like, few boxes of stuff that I get, every time I get a booster box, 
there's no repeat hollows. Like if I open up two booster boxes, I'll get some repetition, uh, some repetition of hollows. But when it comes to just opening one single by itself, there's no repetition of hollows. I don't get that. Uh, let's see. We got uh, sign at cross swipe, B trooper armor horn. Uh, oh, here let me pull up a little higher for you guys. I do apologize. I forget since it's a uh, zoom. How can I compensate? Uh, Magic Key Beast, um, and a solo boa. Gizmic Tech Tanju Kiku, <laughs> the Immobile Intellect. Hi. Uh, Magic Key MFT, uh, Magic Key Genie again. Hidden Springs of the Far East, Drag Unity Knight, no, no idea. Uh, Zexalon Trust, Flying Red Carp, Fabled Treason, Laundry Trap. Ghost Sister and Spooky, um, what is a Spooky Dogwood? What the heck is, here, give me a second guys, I do apologize here. Got off the side just for a second. I apologize guys, I didn't mean to stop mid-pack, just all these commons were accidentally smudging up the thing. But yeah, Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. Uh, guess this isn't another type of the Ghost Ogre and all these, uh, collection. Uh, so we got Live Twin Leela Treat. I get more frame. Danger Disturbance Disorder, which is the field spell for the Danger set list. Revived Sky God, which is actually a trap card that I need for my Exodia, for my uh, Egyptian God deck I was going to make. Another Ash Blossom, so we're finally getting some repetition and magic. Wait. Oh, maybe I accidentally uh, pulled one back, so that's a uh, common, but uh, Magic Raptor uh, Giga Scorpia. Don't know why I. Uh, why that one was back there. But hey, cool, at least now we're finally getting some, uh, <laughs> some repetition here. Uh, let's see, we'll put Sky God here. Uh, we'll put... Yeah, I'm gonna run out of room before a long time. So, you know, what we'll do, what we'll do is, is any that don't have any alternative, uh, text, we will put off to the side. What I mean by alternative text is any that don't have, like, the, uh, the text... Yeah, uh, variational color. We'll put those onto the side. Any that's just standard hollow, we'll, uh, we'll put to the side for now. I don't want that one's even in there. I'll, uh, I'll go through and fix all of them later on my own time. Gonna count the... Nah, I won't count those. That's gone. That's gone. There we go. I'll, I'll keep these in their own, uh, separate pile, though, off to the side. I'll... I'll do a showcase of them, all of them back later on screen, just so we can see all the, the amounts that we got. But at least this way we can uh, start over again and kind of get more parts on the screen. I honestly did not even estimate the amount of pull, like, I mean, I knew we were going to get some good pulls considering, but I didn't think that it would be this much i apologize guys i was su supremely un unprepared and i apologize for that there, laundry trap and disturbance. there we go uh looks like this is pack number six so we are down halfway through at least halfway through this gigantic amount of, of cards right, three four five six and okay, back to the front all right, so we got Constellar uh, Concidius, Sun Avalon Malias, Dino Wrestler Iguana Draca, Gizmic Nagari, I have no idea, another sushi ship, Wind Witch Chimes, Ice Jade Tenola, A Leptuum of the Spia, another Arm Dragon Level 3, Metal Foes Vanisher, Rocket Caliber, Fairy Archer Ignore, Okay, let me get these out of the way real quick before you head on to the hollows. Just have some room. Synchro Transmission. Ghost Mourner of Moonlight and Moonlight Chill. Flow Drez Empin. So those are the cards that will be set off to the side. So these are the ones that are staying on screen. We have Flow Drez and Toucan. Dark Honest. And ooh, hello, Despian Quatritis. Don't recognize this card. I might have to see where this one came from. But that's a very nice card. I like the artwork on that.
Oh, don't want that thing down my face cam. There we go. Oh, still getting back up to screen. If anything, I'll push some of the rows up a little bit if uh, we need. Three, four, five, six. Okay. So we got Trickstar Festival again. Feature Trooper Formation. EMR. More sushi. Angel Statue. Feature Trooper Fly and Sting. Hidden Spring of the Far East. Guitar Duo. Zexal and Trust. Starmine. Flip Frozen. Mimikyu Unlocking. And that's it for the commons on that pack, so we'll put those off to the side. Our three rares are Eminic who again, I'm not, not even going to try to pronounce that. Slower Swallow, Sunvine Crossbreed, which I do love this card. I'm glad I got a couple of those for my, uh, for my Sun Avalon deck. Now for our three uh, rares, we have Heritage of the Light, which is an old, uh, very older uh, card with the Heretic cards. Uh, Gigamore Dragon Shell and Ready Fusion. Okay, this one's actually pretty funny. This is kind of like the new age uh, um, instant fusion, but but not nearly as uh, as good as from what I can understand. I've never actually had this card yet, but basically, you pay a thousand life points, special summon one level six or lower non-effect fusion monster from your extract, but it cannot attack and destroy during the end phase. Uh, it, it this card. Being summoned by this card does treat it as a fusion summon, though. Um, which is funny. You know, a lot of folks will uh, love instant fusion better because you can basically just use a uh, special summon any level 5 or lower fusion monster. This one, sure, it lets you do level 6 or lower, but it has to be a non-effect fusion monster. So, kind of restricts because a lot of people like being able to have a card that you can use the effects of um, even if it's going to be destroyed during the end phase. Alright, so we got um, Immobile Intellect again, Ashmorfreet, Will's Dragon, Sunvine Sewing, Pazuzu. I thought that was just Pazuzu, it was the first time I actually read that. Beat Trooper Salt Roller, another uh, Magic Key Mech Mortar, Arm Thunder Dragon level, Arm Dragon Thunder level 5 this time, Beat Trooper Landing. Ice Breeze Refrain, more sushi, you and I. Get these out of the way real quick. And then now we have uh, Pendra Sanction, Live Twin, Ice Jade Tremora. That'll be the end of these. And then we have, for our rares, we have tre Tresh Border, Threshold Board. Octomush You know what I mean? We have to talk about these names. I can't like someone has to pronounce that for me because I'm not even gonna try. And branded opening. Which is another one of the uh Despia cards. There we go. Alright, last pack of tin number three. So we got Wind Witch Chimes, Sun Avalon Malias, More Sushi, More Sushi, Romanine, uh, Magic Key Beast, uh, we'll just say Werewolf, we'll call him Werewolf, Magic Key Beast Werewolf, uh, Despia Comedy, Ice J Trinola, Hercules, Pairs of the Underroot, which actually, let me see this one, Target up to five cards in your opponent's graveyard and the same number of cards. Park up to five cards in your opponent's graveyard and the same number of cards in their banish and basically swap. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Magic Key Dragon, Load Res, and the Scary Sea. We got those out of the way. Oh, grab you. So now we have Branded in Red, Binary Blader, Trapix Caloria. Finally, now we get some more of the uh, Repetition. Because now we have Scrap Raptor. Good to see him back. Spirit's blessing again. And ooh, oh, it's a shame I don't, I didn't get you originally from 
back when you were first in because you are still I think you're still a pretty decent and needed card for the set incredible Celestia the virtuous uh, this card actually was pretty uh, pretty desirable in the set that she's required so hey at least I got a card that people will need and want to trade for uh, where's scrap up there there we go and obviously this so what we'll do is we'll just move these right to the bottom of the screen here try not to move them down too low where you guys can't see them sorry honest just a little bit low trying to get as low as I possibly can guys again I do apologize that I have to take time to do this but I want you guys to be able to see all the glorious cards that are on screen a little choppy but we are in a bit of a rush because I don't want to take up more time absolutely necessary yeah that looks pretty good maybe to move just to get dark on the frame there and then this one go right up top Kind of can't see some of it, but what are you going to do? At least you guys can see the artwork and we'll know the card name. So, that's... <laughs> that's decent. Gee, this one's going to be a struggle. That could be, that could be a good thing, that could be not a good thing. Who knows? Okie dokie. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we got uh, the Spin Tragedy, Magic Key Locking, um, Gizmic Cog, Mech Musket, EMR, uh, Sushi Board. We'll just say Sushi Board. More Sushi. <laughs> uh, Destiny Hero Denier, Arm Dragon Lightning, Stairway to a Fabled Realm, Stellar Wing, Wolf Red, which this card is actually really, really good. Um, I haven't seen most play, but the effect, I love this card. Basically, you can only control one of this card. This card gains 300 attack points each time another monster's effect is activated, uh, while this card has less than 4,000 attack points. Um, and once per turn, if this card's attack is 4,000 or higher, um, you can shuffle both this card and every other monster, your any every monster your opponent controls back into the deck. I mean, it's actually a ridiculously good card. Um, Flow Trees in the Dream of Town. Got all of them out of the way. Our first three is Garden Rose Flora. Another is Exo Wayne uh, Pegasus Twin Saber. Another Trapex Velosco. And then for the ones that are the higher rarity on the screen, we got Synchro Overtake, Dimension Shifter, and Zexel Sage Ascendant Sage. Well, I think actually the better one, because I really like this one a lot better. A lot nicer. Just put you guys right up top. Then in Sage actually was real, like it's such a shame that some like so much good support comes out after um after I stopped playing the decks and everything. Because the Sun and Sage would have been so nice in my Utopia slash numbers deck. Oh such a such a good card. Technically I play a Utopia deck in uh, Master Duel, but I haven't touched that in a minute. I've just been so busy with everything else. All right, so we got the Fable Apnik, Ap Abank, Abank. I think that's how you say it. Angel Statue, One Curry Way, Ice Jade Cradle, Sushi, B Trooper Descendant, or Descent, uh, Fable Marcosia, I think that's how you say it. Basil Rose Shot, another Hercules, another Dragonite Cone, or Mephobar, Rocket Caliber, another Ice Jade Ignore. I've been noticing this too. Every single time I get a Rocket Calabar, it's always followed by that Fairy Archer card. That's weak. I always find it weird that sometimes certain cards are like that. They always seem to be paired. Um, next, we got Ultimate Flagship Ursatron. Another Go Kai finishing move. Another Street. And now for the better rares, we have Apex Pred uh, Predation. Another Earth Chant. Ooh, an Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. This card is really, was really worth something. 
still pretty good. I think it's, I think the original one of these, I have one of them. I don't know if it's still as high as it used to be, but it was going for about $30, $40 last time I checked, but it's still a pretty good card. Basically, um, you can use, you can also use one monster your opponent controls as material to link some of this card, which is ridiculous since it requires, it's a link five and requires at least four more effect monsters. So the fact that you can use one monster your opponent controls is nice. Uh, if this is if this card is link summoned, you can negate the effects of all face up monsters your opponent contr currently controls. Uh, this link summoned card is unaffected by your opponent's card effects unless they target this card. So basically, so like if it, it has to specifically target this card, so say like um, Mirror Force for example, it would be unaffected. But say it was specifically um, like it it's an effect that targets. What's a card that specifically targets a monster? Um, not Dark Hole, not Monster Reborn, because that one makes sense. Um, bottomless Trap Hole. That's a perfect one. Bottomless Trap Hole. Uh, it would work. And then, obviously, once per turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect that special summons a monster from the graveyard, you can negate that activation. Which is ridiculous. The fact that it's basically uh, so nice. So that is really cool to get that. And cool to get some more, uh, more, re more, more repeats. Pretty cool. All right, on to the last one, folks. Last one, and I gotta say, I'm I'm pretty glad with the spread of different cards that we've got. Like this is really really dope. I like this a lot. So we've got our one, two, three, four, five, six front. So final for our final pack, we got branded in white, B Trooper Armor Horn, Archmate. I'm not even gonna try. And the Stay Sailor. Uh, Undaunted Bumpkin Beast, Majestic Absorption, Witch, uh, Wind Witch Freeze Bell, Master's Diplomen, uh, which I actually don't think I've ever seen this one before. B Trooper Scale Bomber, Starmine, Eat of the Sun Magician, Fable Treason. That's it for these guys. Again, one thing that I do always like about Mega Tens is the fact that um you know ever a lot of cards that were super rares and really hard cards to find because they get reprinted in tins their rarity changes to where they're really easy to get again um arm dra speaking of which arm dragon flash another mechal the uh palozoic cambrocaster cambroster i think that's how you say it uh arm sage again and then for the final card of the evening we have another D, &D assaults carrier another arm dragon thunder 10 and a pot of prosperity what a way to end it with the bet like literally the most expensive card in the entire set a pot of prosperity i was gonna say that'd be dope if we got one and we literally pulled one right at the very end what are the odds of that that is dope it would have been a, like i thought that would have been really freaking crazy if we were to end up pulling another uh red eyes dragoon because that would have literally been the same first three cards that we got that's insane um but yeah, obviously you guys can see we have a crap ton on the board. Uh, give me just a second to uh, kind of get everything together to do like one big showcase here. That way I could basically just show you guys all the good stuff. Because honestly, if I were to show off all the rest of like the smaller ones as well, that would be crazy. But I still cannot just believe how much you were. Because, again, I love the fact that Konami always does, like, all this different variety of stuff in their tins and everything. It can get a little bit insane sometimes when you buy a lot of product. But, you know, it's always good to have extras every now and then. Alrighty. So, obviously, before, we, before I show off all those, obviously, we have just our cornucopia of just the generic hollow stuff which again you guys saw there's just, there's just so much i could not fit into one it would take me forever just to get through this let alone the other pile i mean literally if you look both piles i'm pretty sure are roughly because th this is the pile of the the basic hollows these are the ones of the more literally they're almost the exact same thickness i mean let me put them side by side a little bit better L er, till my hands a little bit. yeah literally almost the same thickness it's actually insane but go down the list obviously we just i mean i mean I, I can't even go through everything i'd be here for an hour and probably another 20 minutes 
going through everything, which is just absolutely nuts. I mean, got that, you know, got the new revived Sky, Sky God Trap card. Really love that. Uh, got some really, you know, double Ash Blossoms, which I'll probably put with this new deck I plan on making. Um, you know, just a bunch of really cool new stuff. Um, I think the biggest two take the three big takeaways I really like from this is obviously that Red Eyes Dragoon, because that's a really dope card. The Underworld Goddess, really dope card, and then the Pot of Prosperity, just getting one of those, you know, is really, really dope to get. Literally the most expensive card in the entire set at the end of the video. That just makes it, makes it so much, uh, makes it really worth it. But that will be the end of it, I guess, guys. Um, obviously, again, um, we didn't make the sub goal, which is a little bit disappointing, but, you know, never, never required. I always love doing these for you guys, and I hope you do enjoy them as well. Um... So if you guys again made it all the way to the end of this video, please make sure that you guys uh, hit that like button, subscribe, turn notifications on. If you guys did make it all the way here, make sure you leave that comment, hashtag full, wa uh, full watch down below in the description of, or in the uh, comment section. That way you guys get a shout out on my Twitter. And again, guys, please make sure that if you aren't already, follow me on my on all my social media if you guys want to. That includes YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Insta. Er, hold on, sorry. <laughs> it would include Twitch. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, and my uh, Twitter. All will be located here on Twitch or on my YouTube channel, every single one of my videos. And again, guys, if this video gets to 25 likes, I'll do another four boxes. And if the TikTok highlight reel, which will be coming out the same time that this video launches as well, if those both get 25 likes within the first week of both of them being out, I'll do four per each. So we can at least get up to eight. But again, guys, this is me and the Authority sign off for now. I'll see you all next time when I'm back on your screens and in your faces.